Hello YouTube. Welcome to my first review of 2013. This year, this time I will be reviewing the Lego City Police Station. It's set 7, 4, 9, 8. It is 6 to 12. It is a Lego City set and it is 69 pounds and 99 pence. Um, um, $99 dollars and 99 cents and I'm Australia $130 I think it is about that um, this set is has 783 pieces and you have 7 minifigures um, and I will be reviewing the set now um, I'll start with the car car number 1 which you build first really cool. Um, you have some, a flashlight in there and then I have a spare bit of hand you get in the set. Um, the guy out is a female officer. Um, you don't really see that a lot. And she's quite a good figure. And she goes with the car. You have quite a few things. You have, um, you have the number plate saying, I don't know if you can see it, but it's TS7498. You have a police thing saying Police 1. Sorry, a barrier just went down. Um, two police things there, another number plate, and then a police thing. There's quite a lot of stuff on this set. Um, yes, it is very hard to put them all on straight. And that's the only bad thing about stickers. Oh well, um, there's also a seat here with steel wheel. It's good. Very nice. And it goes into the garage. Like so. And the doors close. Good. Um, nah. They made it quite cool pieces. Very good. And here's the next car. I haven't got the person in this, um, he's somewhere else in the building. Um, this one doesn't have a number plate on it, it's a van. Some people in their reviews I've seen, like, um, I think Topper Twist, they have said they don't know what this thing is meant to be for. It is, um, on like a website it says it is a prisoner transport port van. You have a number two sticker and two police things and you assign and that's it on this one. This it has doors, I don't know why the car doesn't have that, a scroll car, but it's not my problem. You have a, a ladder-like thing. Um, at first I didn't know what it was meant to be, but what I think it is, is if you see the mobile police unit, its height is about, the height down, if you want to jump off, then it will be about this high off. So I think this is maybe a ladder, so maybe if you were on it, then you could just jump on the top and get off it. I think that is. If it is, then let me know. Um, you have been um, a um, fake piece in here, which you can fit your prisoners in. Sorry about this. Yeah, you're only just about to space, so it just you have to cram. Um, it's okay. Um, the bad thing about this car is it's quite long. It sticks out the other side, unlike the squad car. The squad car just about stays in, but this is about um, stud longer. Um, he has some barriers. Um, also, I'll do the bike as well. The bike is really cool. We've seen this a few times. You have a red dot on the front there, on the back, a yellow, a white one on the front. Um, and it's quite cool. You can fit them to go on it easily, and it stands up quite basically. It leans on these pieces here, the pedals, and I just need the thing here. So you have some some stairs here. You have a door. Um, so if the prisoners get out through the doors, um, they got another door to go through unless they go and get the key back there. I'll show you that later. Um, you have the door mechanism here. You push this and it will the cell doors. It's really cool. But hopefully you have a prisoner 
a guard there, because if you have opened that door and there's no one there, then this prisoner can just sneak out through here. If this door isn't locked though, or if you do that one, he can sneak through here, and then you can just use him like a go downstairs, and out the door. That's a simple plan. Um, I'll do the front first though. I'll get back to this later. Get some spotlights. A horn. A really cool camera. When I first saw this, I actually, when I first built this, I actually thought like, oh, it looks like a robot. And yeah, it does look like a robot, but you have a CCTV camera. Probably another sign one and a satellite dish you can move, which can move up and down. Shit. There's a piece missing if you look there. It's there. I thought I'd let you know first. So a tool rack with handcuffs. A megaphone. And like to tell you tell you to stop if in traffic, basically. You would hold it up and go and then they go. Then you to signal the driver to stop. You have a thing for the dog. I'll show you that later. And you have a passage into this room here. How awesome is that? So, yes, you can see someone in there. Um, it's a three-story room, so, yep, that's good. The door does open, but, I think, but you normally it can not go, because sometimes this thing push up sometimes, so it, um, this thing only, like, su like the skids against this when it opens, so... Yeah. It's like a really cool curve here. I love this. You have a sign here. A number sign, a lamp post, so I'm not messing with that. Bush, some flowers, and for some reason they have, I've just no, I only noticed this, but they have a lot of signs in here. There, 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 and there. Loads of signs. Way too many. Yeah. Um, another, then you have a spotlight here, a um, thing here, antenna. And another antenna probably, a helipad, which you can fit the helicopter on. I'll show you that in my review of the helicopter. Anyway, I'll show you the other side of this. It's not as easy to do with one hand as it is with two, so I've got to do it a bit gently. Yes, um, also I thought I'd let you know, but sometimes if you, when you open the car, when you pull the, just this thing around, if you do it really hard, then the cars can like slightly skid out, because once I was doing this, and then the car just went down on the floor. So, yeah. And this is what I mean by outside. Yeah. I'll start with the jail cells. Um, oh, actually first. To stop this thing from falling out, they added this piece here. So if you pull that piece out, then you can pull the whole thing out in case one of the door things breaks out. Then it's easier if you just pull that out there. And then... Anyway, you have two cells for two things, people. Um, here's your other crook. Um, he's new. He's got a chipped tooth, a moustache-like thing, a beanie, and a new outfit. Which, if you want to know why they make what this outfit went for, look at my review of the police boat. Yeah, he's cool. He's probably some. He's probably a good figure in the set. Um, you have a bed and a toilet, and you have some pictures here. On this one, you have um, Daisy been in there. Uh, a tree, a house, a cat, and a person. On this side you have different things. You have a cat, person, a hat, a house, a car, and more days though, in this one. And the cool thing is... Oh, shit. Yep, underneath here, you have crowbars. A new piece, I think this is one when this set came out. I so need to put this camera down a minute, because, um... There we go. He's like that. Both beds have this. Both things have this. Are basically the same thing backwards except from the drawer. And then this thing opens up. And then the crook can go down the drain pipe. I'm not going to do that. And then he can escape. So that's pretty good. I'll just put this bed piece back on. And also this is what it looks like when it's open. That's awesome. Both sides have the same thing. Here you have a dog pen. It's really cool. Here's your new dog. Better than the old one that they had. Not just shit. If I'm white. I don't know. I don't know the new one. Then you have a dog bowl and a dog bone. It's awesome. And you have an opening door. 
And then you have the main guy of it. He's the person that runs the administrate building. Ginger hair. Um, I'm not looking for the gingers. Um, yeah, he's quite cool. And then he has police on the back. It, you cannot see this on camera that okay. Then you have a really cool chair. A thing like a cash register thing. I think what this thing this place is meant to be is like the place that um when you're giving your stuff like this in some TV shows are like giving things like properties um and stuff like that. Then you have a key. You have two of these keys. You have um when you have one up there as well. So that means if you lose the key, no one's a permanent resident. That's a good thing. And but you can hold the key in either the way you way or like this. And then you have a TV thing where you look at it. For, like CCTV footage. Um, it's got one way. It's like a car, I think. Just wait, let me zoom in. I don't know if it's better. Um, something saying alarm. A map of the city from the sky and a picture of um, that cook, the cook I just reviewed a minute ago with no harm. Which that picture was taken in the mugshot room. Awesome. Um, is your cook? Um. Um, he's good. He's got the regular body though on this one. And he's got the other face. He's got the, um, um, smiling face with the beard. No the back printing. And then you have a really cool, um, thing here. Which is a height thing. Um, you'll get a Lego man here to show how this works. Quite. Oh, I'm, do that, I think. I'm not having a good day here by the look of it. Alright, um... Sorry, I am having problems here. I think my... my something's going on here, and it doesn't like me. Anyway, there's a thing. This consists of a huge pole here with a thing you see here, a dish and a stud. And this piece consists of a really cool piece, which I like, and I sometimes use as a gun. And a camera on top. And I love the camera. Is your... Is your... Um, senior officer. It's weird that he gets the bike. Because you think he might get the car seeing as he's young, older. You really think that he'd be on the bike going... Ding, ding, ding. You're on the west. Stop. Pull over. Something like that. He's really cool. He's got the same face as the guy in the harbour. I haven't reviewed that though because it's too... Um, unstable to review from that one. I can't move it to the place where I will view it, and the crane doesn't work properly. But I might review the boat, the boat piece alone though. So, um, yeah, um, he's cool. He's got the cool body. Here's the whack where you hold the key, some lights that you can use, maybe as a switch, because you can go like that. Quite cool. A, um, thing here, a computer desk. And then you have a piece showing the person, the guy's thing. And then, over here, if you have no room, if you have the, um, 2000, um, 2012 advent calendar, then you can fit maybe it here, because I think it wouldn't be bad. It's basically just the same thing as this, only it has a yellow cup instead. And, um, over here is a place where you can have to do something like, um, World of Warcraft, or, um, the Penguin, or, um, I will not say that now. Anyway, um, here's the... Evidence of womb. Here's your last figure in the whole set. It's the guy that drives the van. And he's real, he's cool. He's quite awesome. I like him. And here's where they look over evidence. Um you've got a jewel and a hundred dot and a hundred brick. Is that called it? A hundred stud brick, something like that. They have a that's what they call that money in the Star Wars. And this, you have, you have a clear cup here, but that keeps falling out because it's not holding on to any, it's not supported by anything. You have a regular cup here, and the water thing, it's like a coffee machine, it's a water machine. And then you have a thing where they're looking over pictures and fingerprints, probably. And the light, really cool. And basically, yes, that is mostly it for the police station. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed watching this. Um, my next review will probably be on the um, Lego, either the Lego helicopter or the smart car, or the small car, whatever they call it. As people call it small car. Um, there's the box, a good view of the box. Um, 
and um, what is the back yeah there's things in it already um, that's it for this review hope you guys enjoyed watching it and see you soon bye